Okay guys, welcome back to Aussie's Motor Tips, or Aussie Motor Tips. I always get that wrong. Um, maybe I should change the name. Anyway, uh, today you've tuned in and typed in for um, a brake flush, a brake fluid flush on a Mini, uh, in particular a Mini. Um, but this, this kind of works on any, any car, really. It, well, that's got a bleed nipple. Um, Today we're using brake uh, brake fluid on dot four. Um, that's what it says on the cap, so that's what we're using. Um, I'll show you the cap in a minute. Um, the reason why we do this is because brake fluid is highly corrosive. Um, it can eat away at rubber components over time, um, and it can also kind of like just turn into slush, really, and really damage your uh, pistons in your calibers so we don't want to do that um, also your the pistons in the calipers have rubber seals so not so good so we're gonna flush old stuff out the out the mini and replace it with new and then hopefully I'll be able to catch some old stuff um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some old stuff and put it beside the new stuff to see if we can see a lot of difference. Um, I'm not promising that will happen, but uh, yeah, okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do all this with all the wheels on um, by just jacking one side each. So that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Um, so let's keep this semi brief. I want to keep this quite. Quite short and sweet. It's a relatively easy job if it all goes well, if you've got the right equipment. I have, I've got a one way valve bleeder. Um, so it'll only, it should allow only fluid to come out and nothing to go back in. When I, when you depress the brake, it'll suck in air if you haven't got the right equipment. This valve apparently, um, Will not let will not let that happen. You just literally empty the system with the the pipe. Okay, so I'll explain as I go along. It'll be quite difficult to film because the wheels are in the way. But I'm going to do it the way you guys would want to do it to save time. That's the whole point of the this channel. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the old fluid in the mini now. And replace it with this stuff. Okay, just dot four, car lube, and uh, yeah, protect our braking system from corrosion and damage because um, this stuff can just turn on the car. It can get bipolar basically on the car. Okay, so well, let's have it. Let's have a dig at it. Let's locate these bleed nipples and pump the brakes. And see what happens. Let's get let's get it shot. <laughs> right, guys, we're at the minute, and there is your brake reservoir. And already, I can see that that is darker than it should be. The tone of it. Um, again, we'll we'll try and get some samples at the end, uh, but that's where all your brake fluid is, and these are the brake lines going to each wheel so what you want to do is start on the wheel furthest away from this reservoir okay start furthest away not the nearest which is this one furthest so it's going to be passenger rear okay so we're going to start by going to there and we've got to keep an eye on that level by the way as well it's really vital it's really vital we don't get air going in um, so we'll undo this and get ready. We'll get ready to fill that up again because that's going to disappear. So let's see if I can set you up. Um, I've jacked this wheel up to get the chassis up so I can get underneath. Um, I'm not taking the wheel off as I've already explained. Let's see if I can set you up so you can watch what I do. So. Uh, be difficult. There's the bleed nipple and it did have 
<coughs> but it rolled away. It did have a rubber grommet like that over it. Okay, I took the rubber grommet off to expose the nipple. And the size of the size of the nipple is 10 mil. So let's see if I can set you up there -ish. You might be able to see, I'm hoping, <laughs> to see what I do. Right, so what we're going to do is, I don't know if you can see from there actually. I'm really quite paranoid about if you can see. You might be able to from there. Okay, so we're aiming here at the bleed nipple. So we're going to put the hose over it and then the clamp over like that. And then this side needs to go into a catch bucket of some sort because there's going to be fluid coming out of here. And I'm going to crack this nipple open, which I've just done. A little bit more, there we go. Okay, that's all you need. And then, just got to get the bucket a minute. Okay, I've actually got this glass, but it'll do fine. So I'm gonna catch the brake fluid in this glass as I pump the brakes. Okay, this is the furthest away from the reservoir. stuff it's coming out um, I'm all I'm doing is pumping the brakes at the front that's literally all I'm doing okay so I'm gonna give it another couple of pumps and the brake fluid looks terrible coming out Wowzers, that looks terrible. Okay, look, look what's coming out. So that fluid's pretty shocking. So what we've got to do now is go to the front of the vehicle, go to the reservoir, and as you can see, the level's dropped. So we've got to top it up with fresh stuff. Right to the right to the rim. Why not? Because we know it's going to disappear. And then we pump again. <sighs> I hope you guys can see this. But I really don't know if you can. Set it up there. Okay, I'm going to pump again. So now we've really got stuff coming out now. It's looking really terrible. Um, and obviously new stuff will start coming through. Um, it'll at least refresh it if I don't catch it all. Um, what I'll do is now I'll set you up further away. And you can probably see it filling up.
like we touched on it year three, year four, but like I don't remember doing anything remotely like that. Okay, that's quite a lot of fluid come out. Um, and I know, hopefully, that this valve has done its job and not sucked air in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close that off now. Close the nipple off. So that's clockwise. God damn it. There we go. And that's off. Take the hose off. So the clamp off first, like that, and then the hose. You'll have a little bit of seepage, um, which is a dodgy word. That's expected. And then that side is briefly done, I would say. I mean, you want to probably keep going a little bit more than that. Um, but that is looking terrible. I'm glad I'm doing this now. So that's, that's in the brake line, see? So what you want to do is repeat that side. Okay, which I'm gonna do now off camera because this video will take forever. Um, hopefully you've seen that. So there's your bleed nipple. I've undone it, put the hose on, put it into a container. I've pumped the brakes at the front and filled up the reservoir at the front whilst doing it okay keep an eye on that reservoir all the time at the front and now i'm going to put the rubber grommet on and make sure that's done up because we don't want to be on the road with no brakes that's it repeat on that side okay which i'm going to do off camera like i said and then i'll meet you at the front of the vehicle when we do the front passenger side Okay. Bugger it, we're filming this side too. I've just I've just thought like it just increases your chances guys of seeing seeing what I'm doing. So rubber grommet off. And then hose on. <coughs> And see, oh, yeah, hose on. Obviously, there's brake fluid coming from the last, the last go, on the other side. Uh, really hard to film. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. That's cracked open now. I've just undone that nipple a little tiny bit. Yes, I've got a new one because I wanted to show you guys the difference between the two fluids and why it's important to do this, say every two years, I think it is. So I'm just going to crack open this nipple a bit more so it's easier for me when I'm pumping the brakes. Okay, that's good, that's really undone now. Okay, so I'm going to pump the brakes and hopefully you might see fluid goes into this milk carton here. Maybe. Okay. Okay, that's about six pumps, I would say. And yeah, we've got fluid. We've got fluid in the in the milk carton. Okay, so when you're happy, 
with how much has come out, which I'm not yet. Close off the nipple, uh, which I'll do in a minute. Um, and yeah, we'll go to the front. Okay, we've got quite a lot of fluid in the milk carton now. As you may be able to see, I don't know. You can see that. There's quite a lot in there now. You've got to, got to remember that the brake lines are quite thin. Um, so, I'll set you up so you can see what I do. Yeah, so I'm now going to do up the bleed nipple clockwise. Again, this is all kind of more awkward with the wheels on, yes, but at the same time, it saves you a job. And that's done up. Then you disconnect the hose. Um, yes, fluid will go everywhere off the hose. Um, and then the little rumble grommet. And we're done at the rear. Um, again though I would probably pump a little bit more than what I've done but this is a bit of a rush job to show you guys what to do so yeah there we go that came out that came out of the right side okay so to the front Right, so you join me at the front now. Um, what you need to do is jack up both front tires, uh, front wheels, off the ground. So, you, because you need to te the, to steer the wheels each side, full lock. Okay. So we're going to start. Like I said, the furthest one away from the reservoir, which is this one over here, and. Hopefully you'll be able to see the bleed nipple, which is... Wow, these knee pads are pretty shit. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty much looking right at it. Right there. What I will do for the front is get a big light for you, actually. There's no point in filming it if you can't see. Right, so hopefully that's more successful. Hopefully you can see what the hell I'm doing now. Um, I think you're pointing right at the nipple, I'm not sure. Okay. So, oh, living next to this road is just fucking annoying. Anyway, there's your bleed nipple there. Right there. Okay, it's got a little rubber, got a little rubber grommet over it again. And the line here for my broken sensor. Oh, that's interesting. That's meant to be attached to the pads. Uh, I'll look at that in another day. Hmm. That goes over the nipple first and then the grommet. Okay. Wow. New discovery, guys. That's not meant to be free like that. Okay. That's another video. Okay, so what we do is, again, put the hose on it. Get rid of that. Put the hose on it like this. Okay, and then the clamp all the way up, and hopefully it'll stay there nicely, which it is. We'll undo the nipple, just like this. Not not far. You don't need too much like that. Just like I don't know, a couple of turns. And that's undone. Now for the milk carton. There it goes. And then we pump away again whilst keeping an eye on the reservoir at the top.
it if you want to look up here now. The reservoir is looking dangerously low. I mean, that's a filter right there. Uh, one sec. There we go. Looking really low. That's just a filter. Um, I can't take that filter out to show you. It's been a bit of a bitch. So what we'll do is we'll fill this up again with fresh, fresh fluid. <coughs> right to the rim surprising how much we've gone through okay that's just taking it that is hopefully I haven't sucked in any air okay because I, I was a bit naughty I was pumping away and uh, didn't really take much notice of what was going on there so we'll set you up down here again yeah. and Hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on, and we'll pump away. So this, this caliper is quite close to the reservoir, so I'm going to stop here on this one. Um, and again, hope that I didn't draw any air through the master cylinder, um, which I don't think I did. But. So we're going to do it up. Which is there. And hose off. Little bit of seepage which I've completely missed. Okay. And now for the other side. But uh, we'll put this on first, which is really sketchy. I don't like that. You have to see, see to that. What that is, is a sensor for my brake pads. Um, My, it's my yeah sensor for my brake pads um, when they wear down it'll come off my dash <laughs> but it's not attached to my pads so I didn't know that <clears throat> interesting so now for the nearest side of, of the reservoir which is the last wheel and again you can see the reservoir has gone down and with this one I will leave you up with the reservoir and you'll see it go down because what you're doing is you're just pumping fluid right through the system into the milk carton but first we've got to steer this wheel the other way because we've got to get to the bleed nipple Okay, so that's full lock the other way. I wish it would stay there. Stay. And we get to the other side. The last side. Okay, I will, I will, like I said, put you up on the, on the reservoir side in a minute. But I want to just show you quickly again how to do this, if you can see. Hopefully you can. See the bleed nipples there again. Uh, with no sensor attached to it this time. Um, which is quite worrying still. Uh, and it's a 10mm. Uh, I'm terrible for leaving my tools behind on the last job. <coughs> Pipe goes on to the nipple again. Again, when you shop for a pipe, make sure it's one way valve because when you're pumping with no assistance, which sounds really dodgy, um, 
when you're pumping with no assistance as in no one's at both ends you need you need a one-way valve which I've got here now you really do need that okay so because you'll draw in air through the nipple okay, so anti-clockwise on the nipple 10 mil this is proven to be a little bit difficult there we go got it really doesn't need to be I'm done all the way some people give it a bit of welly but they don't need to okay there we go that's fine all right so I'll take you up to the reservoir now and you'll see exactly what I'm on about by keeping an eye on the reservoir and normally this doesn't work out well for me. all right one second I'm gonna set you up at the reservoir probably right. I'm hoping you can see the reservoir um, I don't know actually debatable maybe now you can anyway I'm gonna give it a go the bleed nipple is undone I'm gonna pump the brakes and you'll see fluid disappear I think that was successful. You've probably seen it then disappear. I'll, I'll do it again. There's no harm in keeping keeping this going. Ooh, that was a good stop. Okay, again. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied that you've seen that, I think. Um, I'll take you off here now, and we'll go down, back down to the wheel. Alright, so hopefully you can see what's going on. Um, this is all guesswork, by the way. Unfortunately, the GoPro camera has no screen on it, so I'm kind of just pointing and hoping. So you can see seepage coming down the caliper, and we'll have to clean that up because this is ultra corrosive stuff um, what we'll do is we'll go around all the calipers in a minute all four and uh, clean up and uh, we'll make sure that everything's done up so I've just done that nipple up and uh, tr try to catch some fluid in the milk carton okay good I'm happy with how this has gone. Um, hopefully, the recording is just as good. Um, but what I'll do for you um, to explain what's really gone on here is I'll draw a diagram um, in the house about uh, so. If you've seen that, so that's the rubber grommets, yeah just goes on like that and you can see the seepage I'm gonna to have to clean that up um, but yeah that's a successful brake fluid service um, what I would say though is right at the back I would probably pump a bit more than what I did um, I pumped about six seven times maybe on the backs and about four or five times on the front I would make it 10 11 12 on the back and seven on the front uh, pump of the pedals uh, but what you will do now when you are happy that all the um, all the nipples are done up if you're happy with that you know if, that they are done up just test the brake and hopefully it'll be firm which it is that's not going down that's a really good sign 
And then what I'm going to do now is drop the mini down. Um, I've double checked the reservoir level and that's back up to where it was. Again, I have to just mop this up. Um, so we'll do that up. And uh, yeah, I'll, um, we'll have a briefing in the house and uh, I'm just going to pack all this up a minute. Um, get rid of the light, drop it down, level up the wheels, um, have a quick scoot around all four wheels with a cloth and a 10 mil spanner, make sure everything's done up and then I'll meet you in the house. Okay. Um, sim simple job, hopefully you've seen it all, that's, that's my biggest concern is if you've seen it all, um, hopefully you have. So see you in the house. <sighs> Okay, well, job done. Um, well, in my case, personal case, semi done. I would, I would give it more pumps if, uh, if you want to do the job, like really properly. Um, this, hang on, this hose here is a lifesaver. It really is awesome. This valve right at the bottom here is a one-way valve. It won't let in any air. Oh my god, that's going all over my floor. It won't let in any air, so you can't really go wrong, and you don't need any assistance. Um, in a normal, normal bleeding situation, or pushing fluid through the system, you'll need someone to pump the brakes and for someone to close and open the um, the bleed nipples because you need to close when the person depresses because it's going to suck in air and you don't want that. This hose gets rid of all that. So I love it. I love that hose. Um, right. So the grand finale, the grand reveal, I managed to get two samples of new, which was easy and old. Okay. Are you ready to see this? This is why we do fluid changes on your car. That's oil, that's brake, that's transmission, that's coolant, that's the lot. Okay, this is why. I don't know how clear that is. But I'm pretty sure you know which one the old one is. Huh? I'm actually going to go around the camera now and check. You can see this. <clears throat> yeah, you can. That's good. Look at the difference, guys. That's brake fluid, okay? Now the one on the my left, this one, came out of the Mini. It's, it's fucking disgusting. That is what it's meant to look like. Look at the difference. I'll leave a photo up as well after this. That fluid's been in there for four years, five years maybe. It actually has, that's, well, it's the same colour as corrosion, yeah? So get that, get that in your heads. That is corrosion right there. That's, that's disgusting. Okay, so before, after. Let that sink in. Although, I must admit, if you have, if you have actually typed in, which you probably have, um, brake fluid change, you're probably actually looking after your car. So, let, you know, it's not going to, it's not a message to everyone. You probably, have, you're probably doing something right by just looking at this video and watching it. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, that's terrible. And to be honest, I might go out and do a, bit, a few more pumps. Um, because, well, there you go. That's literally come right out. It's, it's raw as hell. So, that's, that's my saying, isn't it? Um, so, I did promise I would draw a diagram about what we did in your car. So, I haven't done that yet. So, I'm going to stop this camera now. I'm going to draw the diagram, because I'm a man of my word. And I'm going to show you exactly what we've done in a diagram, if you still don't understand. Okay? Um, if you don't understand, it's not a problem. Not a, this is why these videos exist. Um, 
but it's important, okay? So, I'm going to draw that diagram now. And no, this isn't apple juice, I haven't faked it. This is, this is real, this is real right out the top, okay? I mean, if you don't believe me, I'll, I'll pour out another... No, I'm not going to do that, you, you believe me, Jesus. This is not apple juice. You know what, no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> One sec. Okay, brake fluid. Obviously, I've got to tip this away somewhere. Um, one second, I'll, one second, I'll just tip this away. Give me one sec. Okay, right, so, here we go. You remember what it was like, yeah? This is coming right out of the brake fluid jug. Okay, if you really think I was faking it, like putting, I don't know, Picard, uh, dandelion and burdock in this and, and apple juice in this. No, no, I wasn't. It's coming right out, okay? Do you want me to keep going? Yes, it looks like apple juice. But, no, I'm not faking it, guys. That's really come out my mini. Um... Which, you know, I don't like. It's my car, so this is why we do it. This is why we change fluids, okay? Cool. Right, so on to the diagram. Awesome. I hope you guys have seen exactly that. Okay. I don't know if this is going to show up. I'm going to get rid of this. Right. This is the diagram that I've prepared, and uh, hopefully you can see it and make sense of it. So there's our foot pedal, there's our reservoir that we kept filling. Front, front, back, back. So we began at the wheel that was furthest away from the reservoir. As we undone the nipple here to release tension in the in the line, we pushed the pedal down which pushed fluid towards this wheel and fluid came rushing out of the bleed nipple. The reason why we've done the one furthest away is because it has a longer line. Then we did this one. We pushed the pedal, fluid came out of the bleed nipple because we undone it. The reservoir went down, we kept topping. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Then we did this one. We undone the bleed nipple. We pushed the pedal, fluid came out, um, and obviously we kept filling up the reservoir with new fluid. Then, done, uh, done that bleed nipple up, undone that one, pushed the pedal in, old crap came out, new crap went in. So in theory, if you've done enough pushes with the pedal, all these lines are now new fluid in them, instead of the old crap, which is that. Okay? Awesome! So, that's the diagram. Um, enjoy the, uh, the outro. That, uh, I've got three of them now, actually. Um, but yeah, um, please make sure that you put in the right dot um, dot fluid in your car as well that's important um, the bleed nipples were 10 mil um, the hose was off the internet um, this hose is bloody awesome um, I love it I've I've never brought one before this is quite a new hose and I love it um, but yeah I um, hope you enjoyed the video uh, ciao for now and um, yeah keep watching and subscribe for Christ's sake I've only got six I think um, these these videos take a lot of work all right, cheers.